everyone what is up welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you're returning thank you so so much for coming back and joining me in another video so in this video y'all i am bringing you guys another hygiene shop with me this time i went to target it is almost springtime and it's time for me to re-up on my hygiene products and also i wanted to try see if i can try a few new things as well so i went to target and picked up a few things and i figured why not share it with you guys right so i'm not going to ramble on for too too long if you guys are interest interested to see what i picked up from target and you want to come hygiene shopping with me just continue watching Definitely picking up one of these this time. So good. So I think I'm gonna try this detoxifying charcoal peel off mask. I just need something to like refresh, you know, and detoxify my skin. So I actually went to Target. It's been like a couple of days now. Um, and I have my bags right here. So I'm gonna show you guys. I have two, ooh, this one is heavy, pretty full bag of things to show you guys. And like I said earlier in this video, I got some things that I knew I needed to re-up on, but I also got some things to try for the first time. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So I have my first bag here. And in no particular order at all, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I picked up, I've heard people like speak about these, talk about these before, is the Mighty Patches. I got the one for blemishes, which for me, I don't have like a ton of, like I don't have really bad acne or um, like dark marks or anything like that. They did have one that was um, specifically for dark marks, but I don't really have like a ton of dark marks, but every once in a while I will get like a pimple or so. I actually have one right now. You can barely see it, but I can tell it's like starting to raise. And so I figured every once in a while, if I, when I do get a pimple, I need something like this to kind of put on there maybe overnight and it'll take care of it. So I'm gonna try this one, that's the Mighty Patch micro point for blemishes so we'll see how it works the next thing that i picked up that is skincare related for my face is this um detoxifying charcoal peel off mask and i have tried a face mask or face masks from this brand before this is the i don't know how you pronounce this but Hey, Bella professional brand and I like I said I've tried them before but I've never tried this charcoal peel off mask and I really need something right now that is going to detoxify and kind of cleanse my skin so I went ahead and went with this one it has the charcoal on it to deep cleanse and then it also has vitamin E in it which I feel like it's good for your skin as well so yeah I'm gonna try this out for the first time and hopefully it gets the job done so the next thing that I picked up is also another mask, but this one is for my feet. So it is about that time that I should probably go and get a pedicure, but I have a lot going on behind the scenes right now. So I really just don't have the time. So I figured I'm gonna do like a little at home petty and I'm gonna use these just to kind of get me through the next few weeks until I am able to go get a pedicure. And we're gonna try these out. These are, are the Holler and Glow. They had a, like a couple different brands, but I don't know why, but the packaging for this one stood out to me. And this one is the Soul Surviving. It's exfoliating. And I believe it's like little socks maybe that you put on and keep them on for a little bit if I'm not mistaken. 
So we're gonna try this. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be like a sheet mask, I guess, for your feet, just to kind of help, I don't know, shed dead skin and also moisturize. It says that it's enriched with coconut oil, lactic acid, and glycolic acid. So we'll see how I like it. I don't know if this is the kind of mask that's gonna like make my feet peel really bad, but I mean, if it is, I'm not mad at it because at least I know it's like getting the job done, you know, and I know the result after will be good. So we'll see, but I'm gonna try these out once again for the first time and see how they work. Also to go with the foot care area, like I said, I wanna do like a little at home petty. I got this little charcoal pumice stone for my feet as well. I have tried pumice stones before, but I don't know if I've ever tried a charcoal pumice stone in particular. So I'm gonna give this a try once again to give myself a little petty at home and we'll see how this works. Okay, so moving on to the body care. Now you guys know I love the Tree Hut body scrubs. So I picked this one up. This is the strawberry um, shea sugar scrub and I've never had the strawberry before. I've actually had my eye on this for quite some time now, but I wanted to wait until like this time of the year to purchase it so y'all this one smells so so good oh it smells so good it's so thick like yeah it's not budging i'm excited to use this like i've been using their body scrubs for like literally years now but i'm excited to just try this scent so yeah and you guys will see that it kind of goes along with some of the other scents that i picked up so the next thing that i picked up is this tropics glow or tropic glow body butter it's a firm firming whipped shea body butter i have never tried this line before i'm excited to try it and it smells really good it kind of has like a tropical smell i don't know how to describe it but it smells really good. I feel like I can definitely pair this with a lot of different like summery scents, if you will. Like it just has a really nice, I don't know what to compare it to, but like it almost smells like the um, Sol Gennaro, I think that's the name of the brand. And everyone knows that, pa that packaging, like the original like yellow orangey packaging. It almost smells like that. like. It just smells like summertime. Like that's the best way I can describe that scent and that's the best way I can describe this. It smells like summer. So I'm really excited to use this. Hopefully my skin does not get irritated. I get a little bit nervous when I'm trying new like lotions or body butters. So hopefully it doesn't irritate my skin and it's moisturizing and I like it. So that was it for the first bag. I have the second bag here. Like I said, this one's a little bit heavier. I have some bigger products in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this stuff. So continuing on with the body care, I decided to pick up another, sorry, I'm making a lot of noise with this bag, Anna. I decided to pick up another native body wash. Now y'all know I love native body washes. I feel like in all my videos, I always pick up a native body wash. I feel like Native is just one of those brands that they're just always on point with the season. They just always entice you. They know how to entice you with new scents for each season. And this time they got me because I saw this strawberry and vanilla taffy and I was like, that will pair so perfectly with the strawberry body scrub from Tree Hut. And y'all, this smells, it smells so good. It smells exactly like strawberry taffy. Like, exactly how I would imagine strawberry taffy in a body wash form to smell like it smells phenomenal and I just cannot wait to use this because it's gonna smell even better in the shower with the steam yes amazing if you guys haven't tried natives body washes I would definitely recommend them along with the body wash I also picked up the deodorant in the same scent I kind of went back and forth on this I'm not gonna lie because I'm like do I want my armpits to smell like strawberry but it's not, it's not honestly as strong of a scent as that one, as the body wash is, at least to me. And I don't know, I, I like the scent of strawberry, so I got it. And I feel like it, once again, will pair really nice with that body butter and the body scrub, and of course the body wash as well. So the next thing that I picked up is definitely a staple of mine, just in my hygiene care in general it is the Nivea essentially essentially enriched body lotion and I picked this up like 
all the time it's a good year round just like a neutral it is like slightly scented but it's a very neutral like not too loud of a scent if that makes sense like you can pair this it's not strong at all you can pretty much pair it with anything and it works really well it's very very moisturizing so if you suffer from eczema or dry skin like myself i would recommend trying this lotion out you do have to rub it in a good bit make sure it's rubbed in there nicely but i feel like it does last me all day long and keeps my skin nice and hydrated so the last care and the last care so the last thing in the body care area that i picked up was just this nair body cream now i do usually shave my legs but every once in a while i like to give myself a little bit of a break from shaving my legs and using you know that razor on my skin because my skin is sensitive and i will opt for something like this so i just put this on and leave it on for a few minutes and then i get in the shower and just rinse everything off and it's just so much easier um sometimes than shaving and also a little bit quicker as well so yeah like i said just to give my skin a little bit of a break i will opt to do this occasionally and i only do it on my legs i don't nair anywhere else because i wax like my armpits and i get bikini waxes as well so it's really just on my legs i don't do anything to my arms so yeah, I got this and I got it in the soothing aloe and water lily scent. They didn't really have that many options, but what they did have did not smell good. So I just opted for this one. Just a nice clean smell. So the next couple of things that I picked up y'all is a shampoo and conditioner. So I have been seeing this brand all over. It is the Saltaire. That's kind of how I would pronounce it. I don't know if that's correct or not. But I've been seeing this brand all over and I thought they had body washes. I did not see any body washes at this location, but I definitely am interested to pick it up if they do have it in this scent because it smells really, really good. But this is the Moisture Bound Hydrating Shampoo and the Moisture Bound Hydrating Conditioner. And I'm really excited to try these. It says that it adds moisture to dry parched hair while minimizing frizz and adding shine, which it's exactly what I need. I have dry hair just like I have dry skin and I have frizzy hair. So I feel like this will definitely help. It has a blend of like a few different oils in it. So yeah, I'm excited to try both of these the next time I wash my hair. And like I said, it smells phenomenal. Oh, it smells so good. It almost has like a, y'all know that I'm terrible at describing scents. It just smells good. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it just smells so good. Ooh, I just made a mess. It smells really, really good. And I would recommend trying it. So I just made a really bad mess with that shampoo. But conditioner smells the same way. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it says that it has, if this helps, Manoy oil. So I don't know if you guys have ever used a product with Manoy oil, but it I feel like it kind of has that scent to it. It just smells like a, not super strong, but like a elevated, classy kind of smell. That's not really describing it at all, but like it smells good. Just go to the store and smell it and try it. Yeah, I don't know how good it works yet, but I'm just saying it smells really good. So the last thing that I picked up, which is it can be used for your hair and your body, but I plan on using it more so for like linen um, and just as a room spray. But I opted to pick up this Frenchie, Frenchie spray. And like I said, it is a hair body and linen mist. This is the Bergamot and Cedar smell. And y'all, it smells just so nice and fresh. Oh, and just clean. Honestly, it kind of has like, almost like a masculine, like a clean masculine scent to it. But, and you can use it on your body, on your hair, whatever. Um, like I said, I plan on using it just as a room spray probably most of the time. I would mind, wouldn't mind using it as a body mist, um, but I definitely probably wouldn't put it in my hair. But... It does smell really good. So whatever you want to use it for, um, I like that you can just use it so many different ways. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out, see how I like it. I do really like the smell. 
so yeah that is everything that i picked up for this haul you guys for this hygiene shop with me like i said i got a few products that i knew i just needed to re-up on but definitely a lot of products to try for the first time and yeah i'm excited so let me know down below if you guys see anything or saw anything that you might be interested in trying or if you've tried any of these products before and you love them let me know how they work for you and if you enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys very very soon in my next one bye y'all